Uh, I'm Cliff Somerville. I'm one of the um, farm agents with the Small Farm Outreach Program. I grew up on a farm, uh, major in agriculture, and uh, wanted to farm. And uh, that was something I enjoyed doing and wanted to be a part of it. And also be able to take that experience as a young farmer and share with others that wanted to get into that same field. Farming now is different than when it was when uh, I started in. I, as I said, grew up on a farm, so I had some experience growing up there. A number of the people who get into farming now have had no experience. If that is the case, uh, then you need to do your research. You need to uh, decide what you want to do, what type of farming you want to do, and to actually see uh, what's out there. Farming is not a way of life like it used to be. It's actually a business, and you're gonna have to deal with it as a business. If it's a new person coming in to uh, into farming, uh, I can go out, sit down, find out what they want to do, uh, what crops they want to grow, uh, what resources they actually have to work with and sit down around the table and just uh, write that down so that that farmer can take that information and make better decisions on what he wants to do. For instance, if I'm working with a farmer and go out and sit down with him, uh, one of the first things I ask him to do is to let me see his deed or a plat of the farm. And we actually take that plat, sit down, and see what resources are already there. And I'll then decide what resources would actually support what he want to do. Um, I ran into a farmer uh, actually two years ago that bought uh, a 30-acre tract of land and he wanted to start a farming operation. He wasn't sure what he wanted to do, but he, he thought about, well, I'm going to get some beef cattle, I'm going to have a pasture. Not realizing that out of that 30 acres, 25 acres of it was in trees, seven years old. And when I went out to work with him and noticed that those young trees was there, uh, I said, I see your farm got uh, cultivated pines here. He asked me, he said, what's that? And, you know, his idea was to go out and put a dozer out there and push those trees down. And the dozer was sitting there in the yard. He was waiting for a contractor to come in, the person who agreed to do the dozer work, uh, within the next seven days. But here was 25 acres of uh, young pine trees, a lop lolly pine, that he was going to push over. You know, and that's because he didn't know what resources he had on there. Yeah. And so uh, that is one way of actually helping a farmer uh, to get him to see what's there. And you can get that information from his deed, you can get it from the plat, get an idea of what's out there. When it comes down to what enterprises you want to put on that farm, um, you're looking at the best location for the fields. If he's going to do some uh, field crops, uh, where's the best place to put it based on the soil sample? How much open space he got? Uh, you can help him select that. And at that time, you're actually showing him where he realized more of what he got in place that, that he can work with. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, as a team member, we work very close with the existing uh, agriculture uh, agents program uh, out there, Extension Farm Service, NRCS. And I see one of my job is to actually refer those farmers to go out and uh, receive that uh, assistance and information that those agents have to provide to them. I think in this program, this fall, small farm outreach program, uh, we are uh, providing information that uh, uh, provide additional knowledge, understanding, and actually experience uh, to others. I would say that's my reward, that when you share something with someone, especially if it's something uh, they are not familiar with or something that is new, and over a period of time, you see that 
they have actually benefited by using that information that you shared with them or say a demonstration that you have shown them how to do something uh, that is the reward. I'm Cliff, I'm extending knowledge and changing lives.